and we have the Minister of Planning for Cote d'Ivoire, Her Excellency Niale Kaba. So thank you all for, for being a part of this discussion today. And I, I want to kick it off with the Prime Minister. Um, Mr. Prime Minister, give us a sense. Don't give us just one reason. It's a big enough issue. Give us two reasons. Yeah. And I'll ask all of you, two reasons why it is essential that digital IDs are at the top of your agenda in your country. Can we have a look at your ID first? <laughs> no. <laughs> to make sure that we have the right moderator. No, I, I said it, I don't have ID because I just wanted to bring into the attention of the people on this audience that where Somalia is. We are undertaking major reforms in our country. We are very pleased and grateful with the work we're doing with IMF and World Bank, and we're very close to having a, a process of debt relief. That will enable our economy to grow. We'll have access to international financial institutions. But in order for our banks to function, uh, we need to have the issue of KYC resolved. And to do that, you need an ID card. Yep. And that is what we are trying to work with the World Bank. And KYC, for those joining online, know your customer, very yeah. basic element of banking regulation. And without that, ID card system, you can solve that problem. The second element is that we are undertaking a political reform process where we are rewriting our constitution. Uh, that will also give us an opportunity for our country uh, to give our ordinary citizens to get power back from the politicians, meaning that we are rooting for one person, one vote. And for us to conduct an election system in our country, you will need an ID card. Three, we're doing security sector reform. And to do a security sector reform in our country, to register every soldier, and you need to pay them biometrically, you need to have secure, reliable ID card system that works. And finally, with ID card system that works, it will help grow our economy, help us reform our security structures, and lead our country to a one-person, one-vote election. And on top of that, we will know every individual in the country and every citizen. And that will help the security team on the ground to improve the security of the country. And finally, it is the best way to eliminate or reduce corruption. So the solution of whoever is going to win the award, I will want to hear today, the person who will design ID cards for Somalia. That's why I joined this <laughs> That is a good call to action. And as you can tell, please applaud the Prime Minister. As you can tell, 